Okay. okay. So everyone, welcome back to Brezel of Frat here at Shira David. And uh, it's a Ramesh, a beautiful day in Eretz Yisrael. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, it's a challenging time, but it's still beautiful over here. Um, and uh, and uh, today is the second day of the four days between Yom Kippur and, uh, and Sukkot. Uh-huh. And the four days are are, are uh, connected to the Yud K Vav K, okay, Hashem's name. Four days, right? Four four days, four letters. Mm-hmm. Four days, four letters. It's all to get us connected together to be with Hashem, to be with Hashem in the in the Sukkah. It's getting us to. It's getting us ready. So uh, we're in Hilchas. We're in Hilchas Nefila Sapayim. When Halacha Dalid. And we're in the middle of your test. So yesterday we had a little discussion of this understanding. What does it mean that we do mitzvahs, but we don't really understand the essence of the mitzvah, right? We're having a little trouble with that, right? So, so I want to tell you something over something. I was, I was thinking about this a lot yesterday, trying to figure this out. Uh, so let's take, let's take the current time that we're in and to try to, use the, try, try to figure something out, okay? And you'll tell me if you like this, okay? Here we go. So, when it comes to the Yom Tov of Pesach, right? What does the Torah call the Yom Tov of Pesach? No, Chagamatzos. Chagamatzos. Chagamatzos, right? What do we call? What do we call Pesach? Pesach. Does anyone here call Pesach by Chagamatzos? No, in Kiddush, when you say Kiddush, say Chagamatzos, it's Hazer, right? Okay. But only then. But when we, we talk about that, we're going for Pesach, or we're going to be, how was Pesach? Right? We, we refer to it only as Pesach. So the Kedushas Levi, he says like this, uh, the fact that, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu always shows his love to us. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the Torah calls it Chag HaMatzos. Why does he call it Chag HaMatzos? Because that was our Mesiris Nefesh. We went into the desert, right? Lech Bechacharai, Be'eretz Le'i Zerua, right? Right, and we went into it. We went into the desert after Hashem. We didn't take provisions. We didn't take anything with us. We just went after Hashem. A lot of money. Huh? A lot of money. A lot of money. What was the money going to do with you? Yeah. Yeah, Sasha, you could be in the desert, you have all the money in the world, but you still, still a person can... Like say, you uh, in, in, in the airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The world. Then you can have all the money in the yeah. world, but, but you can still... St- no, but then you can get water. You can still get water. You can get, you get things, you get an apple. No, no, in the desert, no, you, can have, you can have literally all the money in the world and not have any water. <laughs> and not have any water. Okay, so, so that was... So I call this Baruch now, but we... We want to we 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 want to thank Hashem, so we say, wait a second, Hashem, it's Pesach. Why, Hakadosh Baruch Hu, you took us out of Mitzrayim. Hashem is praising us; we're praising Hashem by call, by us calling it Pesach. We're saying, well, Hashem was Pesach abate, mitzra, abate uh, 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 over our houses, right? And he passed over and he saved Klal Yisrael and he took us out. Now, let me ask you this. You ever, you ever, if you learn through, if you learn through Mishnah Yisrael, or you learn through Mesech Yisrael, which is the same thing. So you'll see in Mesech the the, uh, the, uh, the Mishnah speaks about, or speaks about uh, uh, um, Sukkah first. Talks about the Sukkah, all different kinds of Sukkahs. Huh? And then after on, it talks about the Dalad Mina. It talks about the four species. But now wait a second, the Torah says, V'lekachtem lachem b'yom ha-rishon, priye tzhodar, kapa is tamorim, v'anafa it's always, v'arve nachal, right, take for yourself the esrig, the kapa is tamorim is the day, is the, is the lulav, right, the, 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 then you take the hadasim and take the arovis, right? And then the Torah introduces two psukim later. The Torah introduces sukkah. So why does Rabbi Yehud? So why did Rabbi Akadosh in the Mishnah start talking about sukkah first, and then 
he introduces the Dalad Mina. And why does the Torah have the Dalad Mina, the four species, first and then talk about Sukkah, where we don't even do it in that order? Right? We have the mitzvah, the first night of Sukkah is to eat in the Sukkah. Right? That's the mitzvah, right? We have the mitzvah, the first night of Sukkah is to eat in the Sukkah, right? That's the whole thing. When in, in parts of the world, when it rains, everyone's worried. Uh, uh, how, late, how late do I have to wait up if it's raining and all of that stuff, right? And then we can only do the esrik, the four species, in the morning. Right? The four species in the morning. So wait a second. The Torah again reverses it. The Torah says first the four species. Then the Torah talks about sukkah. We don't follow that way. And then Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Akadosh in the Mishnah speaks about first sukkah and then he talks about the Dalad Mina. So maybe we could connect the two together. Right? What are the Dalad Mina? We were talking about it yesterday, right? It's all different kind of Jews. Oh. All different kind of Jews, right? You have the one that has the tzaddik, like the esrik, has a, has a tam and the reyach, right? It has the taste and it has a nice, a nice, a nice smell, right? You have the, the, the lulav. The lulav, the lulav is, 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 uh, is, it doesn't have, it doesn't have a, 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 a it doesn't have a reyach, but it, again, the dates are, it comes from a nice, uh, sweet thing. It's nice, right? And then you have the, the, the adasim, right? The adasim have a reyach, right? But they don't, right? And, and, and so on and so forth, right? These are the different, these are the different types of Jews, right? And it's also different types, different parts of our body, right? Like we said yesterday, the lulav is the shedra. The spine of the body, right? The, 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 the spine of the body, right? That's the lulav. It has to be straight, like the spine is straight, right? And then we have, and then we have, and then we have the esrig, which is some, somewhat of a shape of a heart, right? Which, which is significant to the heart, okay? And that's why when you get your esrig, you don't want to have any spots on the esrig and things, because you don't want to have any spots on your heart, right? They understand, right, Simcha? Yeah. And we were doing that yesterday, right? It was nice, right? <laughs> You want to clean, you want a nice clean, it has to be clean, right? It has to be clean. And then the, the, the adasim, the adasim have to be in threes, right? And they have to be, they have to be the shape, they're a shape of the eyes, right? Shape of the eyes, right? Again, we have to make sure that we, what we see and everything else. And then the lips, then the adas, the darabas are like the shape of the lips, right? And then we have to be careful with our speech and so on. So the Dalit Minam is showing the beauty of Klai. So we take and, and we take them, what do we do? We take them all together and we tie them together, right? We tie the, the Adasim, the Aravas, the Lulav together and we hold the Estric together with them together, right? Because we're binding all types of Jews together. All Jews together. And that's one of the most beautiful reasons I love to go to Uman. One of the most beautiful things yeah, I love to go to Uman is to see literally every type of Jew from every part of the world yeah. that just get together for one reason to come to be with Rabbi Nuzal and to daven. In whatever way. Some daven, some don't. Whatever. It doesn't matter. They're all coming for one. And it's amazing. All Jews together in one place. It's the most unifying experience one could have. It, it is, right? That's unbelievable, yeah. Yossi, did you feel that when you were there? Yeah, that is very powerful. Absolutely. You see, you can't. You you have to see it, right? You, it's not possible not to see that, right? Yeah. Not to feel it, right? You have to see it. You're there. You're, you're, you're dancing there. with them. Yeah, you're, you're right, and right. At one point, I was dancing in um, the Shiner Minion, and I had a chassid on my left. It yeah, was nice, big a, beard, and tails. Guy on my right. A guy with, with a ponytail, with right, tattoos, tattoos and, a ponytail. and a ponytail. Right. And they're all together. Everyone's yeah. and it's cool. Everyone's great. Right. Everybody's got a. No, so our Kodesh Baruch Hu loves that. Yeah, our Kodesh Baruch Hu loves that we can get together and all be as one. That's what he loves. So our Kodesh Baruch Hu in the Torah says, I'll talk about first the Dalit Minim. I'll talk about the Dalit Minim. Because that's about my people. Like again, like he talks about, like he talked about the Matzah when it came to Pesach. He talks about the Matzah, right? Yeah. Because that's our, that's our Mesiris Nefesh. And this is the fact that we all can get together. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to talk about first the, the, the Dalit Minim in the Torah. And then he talks about the Sukkah. But Rabbi says, wait a second. No, 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 no. We're going to talk, we're going to talk about the Sukkah first because that was where HaKadosh Baruch Hu showed that he gave us, he, we had the Anani Yaakovit, 
Right, we had the Anani Yaakov, the Kaddish Baruch who protected us. Right, but Sukkah says Shafti is Pnei Yisrael. Right, we have to remember that when we sit in the Sukkah. Right, you have to remember Mitzvah Tzrichas Kavana. So when you sit in the Sukkah, you have to remember that you have to remember that we sat, we're sitting in the Sukkah because we sat in Sukkahs, and that's why we're sitting in the Sukkah. And you have to remember also the Anani Yaakov. Right, that the Kaddish Baruch is protecting us. You understand? You understand? Yes. There's so many beautiful hidden things in the Torah that show the beauty of how a Kaddish Baruch Hu, another one, Tefillin, right? We wear Tefillin, right? We have to do the mitzvah with, with Simcha, right? Do the mitzvah with Simcha. So in our Tefillin, we talk about the greatness of Hashem, right? We talk about Hashem, right? We talk about Mitzrayim, we, yes, Mitzray. we talk about all these nice things about Hashem. What does Hashem's Tefillin, the Gemara say, Hashem's Tefillin say? Mi ki amchi yisro gayechad barat. says Hashem has Tefillin, the Gemara says that. Whatever that means. We, we don't know, but the Gemara says that our Kaddish Baruch is Tefillin say, Mi ki amchi yisro gayechad barat. Which means what? That we're this, oh, this, we, 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 who's like the Jewish nation oh. that, that this, there's only one, uh, one nation like that of all the other nations? <laughs> and that's again, Hashem shows, he, he is always showing His love for us, and we're showing our love for Him. You understand? And again, that's what I'm always trying to try to bring out from what we're learning in Lakut Alakis. There's beauty in all of the mitzvahs, but again, for us to really believe we understand the essence of anything that we're doing, that's that's we're deluding ourselves. We're deluding ourselves if we believe that we can understand the essence of the mitzvahs. Like we could talk about the esrig and yes, and it's the heart and it is. But why did Hashem pick the esrig? No one can answer that. Yeah. No one can say, why did he pick, of all the branches, why does it have to be the, 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 the palm branch? Why? We don't know. We could talk about what he told us to do and see the beauty in it. We, we, we don't even know our own true motives for anything we do. We don't. Our own motives, we don't know that. No, and it, 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 goes, it, goes much deep, it goes much deeper than that. You know that really, really, when we're, when we're in Shemayim, we tell, we tell our Kaddish Baruch Hu, look, uh, we're coming into this world, so give me these certain tests. I want to uh, test me. We, the Neshama, we in Shemayim, we ask for the tests. Ask for the test. And then we come into the world, and now we're faced with the test, the challenges that we asked for. So in other words, a person's born to a family that's not from, and he grows up that way. He was. He asked for that. Not only did he, not only did he ask for that, but Hakadosh Baruch Hu granted it to him. It's not against the person. In other words, it was set. In other words, it was set up that way. It was set up that way for us to be able to be successful. Could you imagine this? How how happy the neshama is when the neshama can prevail even because of through all those challenges. Could you imagine how happy the Nisham is? <coughs> the Nisham understands. The Nisham knows what it's, what, what challenge it is. It understands it. We don't understand. But that's why the whole point is to constantly have simcha. Because when we have simcha in what we're doing, we give more power to the Nisham. You understand? If we have simcha in what we're doing, we don't look for joy in other things. If you can find the joy in serving Hashem, you're not going to be out there looking for joy in other things. Right? If you don't have joy, you need yeah. joy in your life. People need joy. They need, you need to have joy in your life to be successful. If you have joy from serving Hashem, so you're not out there looking for other joy. You don't need it. You're, you're already happy. You're content. Yeah. You're content. You don't need it. Right? Mm-hmm. Right, you go to a nice restaurant, you eat a nice meal, you pass another one, you don't need it. You're good. You ate, you ate, enjoy, you finish, you fall, you're good, everything's good. You're, you're satiated by what you're, 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 you're doing of your mitzvahs. And, 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 and again, if you want to see, if you want to look ever in, 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 in Rav, Chaim, Rav Chaim Vital, in his introduction to his, his writings, he talks about the, the, the essence of every mitzvah is the simcha of the mitzvah. Because his mm-hmm. Rebbe was the Arizal, and the Arizal said, I only get, I was only able to accomplish everything that I accomplished was because I had Simcha in my mitzvahs. So that's really what it's all about, and that's what we're learning about. Have Simcha in your mitzvah, 
even and 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 again, Taklas Hayadiyah is Shaloi Neda, right? The Rebbe keeps teaching us that, right? Mm-hmm. The main thing to know is I don't know. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not knowing. I, 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 I'm, I'm okay with knowing that Hashem is taking care of it. Hashem is behind everything. And when we, when, when we will understand that, that it's all because Hashem is taking, care, is taking care of us, we'll have a lot less trouble in the world. So long as we think we're protecting ourselves... Right, we have the great systems, we have the great air defense systems, we have these great things, and we have all the technology and the vision and all the... De- hey, you're forgetting, it's Hashem. We're yeah. giving power to the other side. We give them power. And they know that. And they know it. They know when we are weak, they are strong. They know that. So, yes, you know they know that, right? Mm-hmm. They know when we're weak and we don't have a muna, they know they're strong. Yeah. And they know when we have a muna, they're weak. And they don't they don't dare t- touch us. I'm playing like motion, keep my hands up so we can win. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, but what can you point to to say, boy, they, they, you, you, you were really strong in a muna. And they didn't mess with you. Like, the what? When, when, like, when can you point to history? A time like that. Uh, Yassi, after, 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 the, after, the Yom, after the Yom Kippur Six war? Day war. Yeah. Every war. Six day war after the yeah. Yom Kippur. They, they were that like Yom Kippur war, there was a little bit of Kofi Otsimah. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's why, that's why that, but the Six yeah, day war. Yeah, yeah, Six was, day war. They, 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 they had nothing. Every nothing. War, every war. 48, you ran. You ran out of here. Yeah, 48. You ran. 48 as well. You would say, you, it's okay. you would say our level of Amuna today yeah. is lower than those times. Yeah. I, no, 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 I, I would, no, I would say like this. I would say, in my personal opinion, well, no, my personal opinion, I believe the Amuna by from the Chayalim themselves is high now. Mm-hmm. I believe they really are true Mamina. They see, they go into the thing, they see the challenges, they see the Yad Hashem. Mm-hmm. They see it. The problem is the up, the, 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 the leadership. The leadership doesn't see that. They're blind to that. They don't, they're not in touch with the soldiers to see what the soldiers are experiencing on a daily basis. And if they weren't, they would be affected by that. Things would be a lot different. But so long as they are just dealing with... The political. And I think political. things are turning a little bit. I mean, I... This, okay. This Yom Kippur, I mean, it's a ship. Um, there were very few, I mean, really few people that, that, that when they did the Mechitza Minion, the, the court approved to do the Mechitza Minion out in the streets. Yeah, that was last, amazing. Last year was a disaster. That was, ama- that was year, amazing. There was one or two people that, that tried to do uh, something, but it was... No, no, but, but how, did, no, how did they win that? They said, well, you know, the Arabs, they're a lot of Davin, you know, separate, so how come we... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had to bring a riot from the Arabs to, with the court. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Not that the Torah says. Country. Not that the Torah Arab says. <laughs> you know, but that's that was their argument. Yeah. You read it up. Look it yeah, up. That's crazy. Their argument was: Well, the Arabs are a lot of daven. To, you know, when they we get together, they have the the women can't be together with the men. So how come we can't be? Why why do we have to be different? <laughs> That's a problem. That was a liberal argument yeah, because it wasn't the Torah. <laughs> they, they didn't say, well, the they Torah says the we Torah. can't dive, we don't dive in together. We don't dance on Allah. Right. It was a good move that the Rosh would be set up from not having it in the outside. Okay. Good. We're not having it this year, we're having it inside the shul. Okay. It was a very good move. Because then there's a Melchitz in the shul. No, 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 because they're saying, look, this is a right. Very nice that the court decided, but it's not the court that decides. It. There you go. Okay. <laughs> But that's the whole problem. The, 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 listen, Yossi, we're, we're, we're working. It. It's getting better, but it's still, we have it's a long... It's getting better. You know, huh? the, the Niara, getting better. Yesterday's, yesterday's speech, like, it's like a couple minutes speech, and then the last words you said, like, Bezrat Hashem, we will uh, win. See that? Yeah, that's, our, that's our success. Uh, last words in this, like, you know, in this line. <clears throat> Bezrat Hashem. Is a Yossi, line. it's... it's <laughs> 80, eight, eight, huh? 80 years ago today, there were thousands of Jews dying every day. Thousands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, in the Holocaust. Yeah. 80 years ago today, you know, this year, it was the Holocaust. Thousands were dying every day. 
Unbelievable. You don't think they had a Muna? Those guys have seemed to have had a Yossi, but that's again, that was a good Zayra of Hashem. We don't, again, Yossi. Right, so that was, I, I'm just trying to, when we say like, hey, the Muna, we're high, they're, you know, they're low. And, and, and I mean, you're right. I, I, Listen, I, I, the, I, ma- the, matzah, the matzah in Europe at the time the, the, was, was not a good matzah in Europe. With the Haskalah and, and, and everyone, and, and, and it, it was not a good, it wasn't very good. It wasn't very good. No, it's, it's never huh? Much, the Haskalah is much more that the effects of the Haskalah. Right, so this yeah, 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 that, that the effects. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's saying, yeah. hey, a hundred years from now, look what's going to happen. Coming down the pipeline. Look what's coming down, yeah. Yeah. What's coming down the pipeline? This. He's, 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 he's saw. He saw. I mean, the Rav Nassim, Rav Nassim, oh. he saw, yeah. they, 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 Rabbi Nachman saw. And that's why he's saying, stay away from that stuff. Stay away, you don't have to try to understand. These guys were all trying yeah, to we understand. Have, we always have real holes. I mean, I'm just I saying, know, we, okay. today you, you want to point to, to, to I, got, I, got, I got 60% assimilation. I got, yeah. I got yeah. Zara. More, here, it's more, it's I'm more. So okay, <laughs> but, but it's, it's, it's something that's like our, our attention, you know, our mokin is, 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 is focused on this stuff. And so we have like, a, it's more, right? And we, we have, and, and other, we have issues. We have we issues, have yeah. Issues. yeah. So, yeah. but we have to, we're, we're trying to work and trying to help people. Yeah. Couldn't you say that because of all the stuff that's going on in the world that we actually have more Muna because it's balanced? It is, it is, yeah. Right? HaKadosh Baruch Hu keeps everything balanced. Right? It is balanced. And, 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 and wait a second. Hold on. What do you mean you don't see it? No, I mean, if you're listening to the news and all that other so stuff. Don't, don't news, listen to the news. No, 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 I understand. I'm just saying. The noise is greater, it seems. Okay. I guess if that's yeah, but, 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 yeah, but Jews are getting yeah. together. We're saying yeah. to heal them yeah, together. Yeah. Right, we're saying to Hillam together, we're doing things, we're doing our part. We're doing our part, and it's working. Believe me, it's working. I actually heard someone, and it really made me smile, on a podcast, they said, you have to realize, this is Hashem, these are miracles, He's revealing Himself. I mean, when well, I listen, heard that... Yassi, Yassi, that Tuesday night before Rosh Hashanah, right? Yeah. There was a siren in every part of this country, right? Yeah. Yeah. Every part, every, that never happened before. That never happened before, right? Right? Never happened before, and they sent how many? One hundred eighty-seven uh, the, 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 the things, right? One hundred eighty-seven Inter-bull- intercontinental ballistic missiles. Whatever that means. Whatever huge, that the, huge, 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 huge things. Huge. Thirty-seven feet long, and they go faster than Mark Five. Yeah, it goes to show, like, and then and yet this little drone, which okay. is like a little toy. Yeah. You know, can do that. One hundred eighty. Yeah. 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 No, but 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 did, right. did we all say thank you, Hashem, when that happened? Mm. The problem is, oh, oh, we're, we're okay. We can go out to my mod now. Everything's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Back to life. <laughs> Wait a second. We were just saved. We just saved. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bigger miracle than Purim. <laughs> that was a bigger miracle than Purim. Mm-hmm. But we don't realize. We don't stop for a second. Mm. Did we stop to think? Wait a second. What did Hashem just do for us? No, no. Oh, then the government says, "Well, oh, you see, we have the air, we have this, this defense system, and this, and we, we have it all fixed." Well, but that was from Hashem too, because He gave someone the thought and yes. to create that. So okay. it's still from Hashem. Wait, quick question in regards to the simcha, the the, the essence of what we're talking yeah. about here. To to uh, to flip the script. Because I'm noticing, like, in almost all of my mitzvahs that have yeah. a problem with simcha, like, for example, the one that I really, I have to, uh, <laughs> the, uh, I don't okay. like to do uh, the shoshanas. That's, not, know, a, that's yeah. not a happy moment for me. It's actually really? one, that, it's one that, that I dread. That's, that's uh, the happy moment. I know, I know. I know but I like to get up with <laughs> a Peter, listen, okay, okay, okay when we're still talking about it. Okay, go ahead. How do I flip the script? Right, okay, so so I, okay, so once it's so, like, so, something that I so, okay, so once it was what, what does a shana mean? That's an, just an example. No, no, good, good, good. Okay, let's use that one. Let's use that one. It's coming up. Okay, let's nah, yeah, save me. Say, oh, here we go. Hey, wait, what, what do we do now? <laughs> or. Um, oh, okay. Shana. An easy one, like, okay, I just say, keep on having him, I do, I do with Ahava and this and that, but, okay. but I do with Ahava, 
So sometimes, like, if I remember when my dad would ask me, to, can you go get the drinks from the, the like, um, the, the basement? Mafsa, you know, the 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 and that. Like, I, I, like, for me to do that with Simcha, with Ava, yes, with Simcha is a little bit harder. Uh, or, like, what, 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 do, what? I'm saying, how do you... No, so, so stop, wait, wait a second. I have a father, right? Yeah. Right? I have a father. My wife, she lost her father when she was five years old. <clears throat> She was five years old. Her, her father died when she was five she years old. She doesn't have the opportunity to. Do so you have to think for a second. I have a father. Right. How many people? You know other people? I'm sure you have other friends and you know yeah. other people mm -hmm. that lost their fathers at a young age. Right? The Unfortunately. With every mitzvah, there is a way to. Yeah. To, yeah. To, to, wow, I still have a father. Yeah. Like when your kids are driving you nuts, look at all the people that are crying your eyes out for a kid. Right. Give anything. I mean, they're just they're, their whole life is. No, let's and another thing. What, what, I, what I like, what I like to try to do is, uh, let's say when, when it comes to Yiska, so I like to make a tefillah that Baruch Hashem, I have my parents. Baruch Hashem, so I have a tefillah. Thank you, Hakadosh Baruch Hu, that I have my parents that I can walk out now. Right. Where's the seat? There's no simcha in that. Mm. All these people lost their parents, and, and you have your parents. That's not simple. That's an easy. That's an easier. One Come on, but the, start from there. Yeah, start yeah. from something more dramatic. Dr 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 dramatic. Dramatic. Yeah, dramatic. More dramatic, right. and then and then and then work out the smaller things. Take each mitzvah and try to find what yeah. can I find the simcha in this mitzvah. Like a sukkah, I have a sukkah, but all those people in Manhattan don't have a sukkah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. Right. Right. Right, those guys with their five million dollar yeah. apartments and it, it, whatever they got all that stuff, but they don't. Have, they can't have a sugar. Right. Most of their apartments don't even have a merpesa. <laughs> Most of them. Most of them. They can't even open up a window. Yeah. <laughs> they, they try. There's a condo association. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's really amazing. Well, led by Jews. I, I have a brother yeah. who lives in a condo, and. Uh, yeah, he tells me the mamish like like this. They're they're like like the biggest anti semites, and it's all Jews that run it. Mm -hmm. God forbid you try to do something. What have a sukkah? Yeah. No, no, yeah, you can't have it. Gone. They'll throw you out so fast that a board meeting they'll wake up and they'll never imagine. <laughs> Come to life yeah, in a way yeah, you've yeah, never yeah. seen. Okay, this is the prayer. They're waiting for this. There we go. Okay. Right, so, so let's. <laughs> Nine year old women waiting to kill you. That's what he said. Because it's okay. They, 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 they get a job. When, when they catch this. <laughs> but can we? Can we? Can we yeah, yeah. Let, let's learn a couple of minutes inside, yeah. okay? Okay. The, I'm just. I'm. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm working on this, trying to get us to understand to bring it to the, the beauty. Before. The beauty of each mitzvah, even though I don't understand the mitzvah. Yeah. I don't understand it. But yes, and there are, there are aspects I can learn how to do the mitzvah. I can see the beauty of the mitzvah. I can, well, but what the essence is, why Hashem wants me to do this, I have no idea. And I don't care. Who cares? It works. Right? It works. It, 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 that's what Hashem wants me to do. What? It works if you work it. If you work it, yeah. Maybe when you're doing the Hoshanas, you can say, Sa save me from having to do this every day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> if you could say Hoshana every day of life, that's not even a bad thing, right? <laughs> well, if it's, if it's difficult yeah. for you, then it's... Uh, <laughs> this guy has a face in his right? Like, ugh. <laughs> and he shuffles his feet. Uh, <laughs> with <laughs> no, no, it's okay. <laughs> he's a good guy. Come on, he's a good guy. Oh, stop! Yes, yes, cut, cut a little slack, a little, slack. A little, slack. A little slack. I'm glad this came up finally. Yeah. Because <laughs> everyone else is saying this is really what I'm thinking. Default. This is the only guy that. Well, Hashem. This is the only this guy out there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See, now you're going to do Hoshana Rabba and you're going to be thinking about this meeting. Uh, you're going to this lesson, and it's going to make you laugh. You'll you're laugh. That's it. It's joy. Joy. Bring up joy. That's it. Try to do it with, with a great amount of joy. Yeah. Do the full circle, not really. Yeah. Running around. You want to do a full circle. Cut, cut you the the and you're, try, you're trying to hold all this stuff and read this full thing. And where are right. we? They're going so fast. And I'm never on the right one that I would have been doing <laughs> Yeah, so we'll figure out. We'll teach you. The, 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 if you study about the Hashanahs, they're amazing. Yeah. 
I have a, a beautiful, I, I use the Maxi Yisrael Malchus. Do you know mm. that one? No. No, see, Said Malchus has a, it has a little translation under mm. each word, right? So it tells you what the kavana is for each one of them. Mm. It's in mamish. No, it's not in English. It's it's in Hebrew. Yeah. So it's a Hebrew word that tells mm. you that. No, but it's 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 a it, it, it's awesome. Yes, if you would try uh, if you want. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, you know what, Yanni? But no, when I, is that very nice fila. No, no, for each, for each Yanni. What what I'll do is. When I go back, I'll take a picture of the yes. I'll show it to you. You look at the kavana each be each and nice. each right. Hashanah, fact, and now I, I whoa! Would mm. I would go to you and use that sitter. Yeah, I would go at the end of each Hashanah, and I would I would go, go ahead and take the English. No, 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 no. That, that's the hakafis. Yeah, that's the hakafis. That's different. That's that's the hakafis. I'm talking. He's talking about the Hashanah. Yeah. The, the Hashanah. I'll I'll send it to you, Mitzvah Shem. Okay. I'll put it, actually, I'll put it in our group. I'll take a picture of one so you'll see it in the group. You'll see it. It's, it's mamish amazing. I think for me it'll be enough to just remember that era of Rosh Hashanah. Yeah, okay. I have to, to say, okay. Hashanah. thank you, Hashem, for... Saving me. <laughs> saving me. <laughs> but yes, I'd like to see it. Maybe okay. Wait, picture, what's it between the Hoshana and the Haskafa? Because I'm not so uh, adept at this yet. Haskafa is the Simcha Sora. Right. Hoshana's are before uh, on Sukkot. Shana's where you walk you're around, you walk, around. Yeah, you're both but, walking around, but here, here you walk around with the lulav and the, right, right, right. the four okay, species, right. and then and then the kafas you go around with the Torah. Right. right, okay? I, I don't like the kafas either. He, no, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, you said that, he didn't say that. Yeah. And those kids bring so much light to the kafas, it's hard to stay Okay, there. Oh, wow, wow, okay, okay. The he, the he daika, okay, okay. <laughs> Can we just do a let's do a couple of ideas? He daika mit mitaheres mitumas meis sheka tuma he bechinas chakiros hamechakrim vakoyfrim sheim sitra the meisa kiheim ikazuma sadochas. Right. The whole point of death is these guys that try to try to investigate mitzvahs, try to investigate the Torah. They try to make these things. And they bring death to the world because they take the simcha out of everything. Right? They say, listen, I can't understand it, so then what do I got to do it for? Right? This doesn't make sense to me. So we cut it out. What did the reform do? Well, this doesn't make sense, so we cross it out. This doesn't make sense, we don't do this. Or this way, we, 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 we don't agree with this, we, we'll do it this way. Right? Val Cain, al yedei mitzvah's para, she bechina schuka satayra. The mitzvah para. Right, the paraduma, the red heifer, right, the red heifer, right, in English, right, the red heifer. So that mitzvah is the one that even David Shleima Melech couldn't understand, right? He said chachma has he has a lot of chachma, but this is way over my pay grade. He couldn't even understand that. Shleima Melech couldn't understand it. Shemegala shemegalis lanu shatayri he bechinas chuka teaches us that the whole Torah is really an ordinance, is really something. That we don't understand. But we do it because we believe this is the Torah that Hashem wants us to follow. This is the blueprint for our life. This is the blueprint for the world. These are the chukim, these are the, these are the, these are, these are the ordinances, these are the mitzvahs. You don't have to try to investigate them. Just perform them. It really, HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't need our mitzvahs. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants our desire. He loves our desire. He loves our simcha. So he gives us all of these different mitzvahs to do so we can connect to him. Do you understand? Hashem doesn't need us to do any of these mitzvahs. He doesn't need it. He wants us to feel the simcha. That's it. So he gives us different ways to connect to him to give us simcha. Why did he choose these different ways? Who cares? This is what Hashem chose. So I'm going to do it. I'll use it. These are the mitzvahs. And, and, and Chazal taught us how to do the mitzvahs. Shulchan Aruch teaches me how to perform the mitzvahs. And I'll follow it. And I'm good with that. I should be. That's what we, that's what we, we strive for. Right? And that's how you can purify yourself from the tum of mace, which is the same thing as all the mechakrim, all the philosophy. That's also Misa. Right? So that's why this concept, when you study the, when you read, that's what we would read, we read 
That's what we read when you read something in the Torah, right? We say we say that uh, uh, right. Right when we when we read something, we can say the words, we can study it, and as if we performed it, right? When the Shalma Farum Sifasein ki ayedei zeh nispat al sitra the Moisa ayedei zeh shem aminim ba Hashem is Baruch because we believe in Hakadosh Baruch Hu mitzvaysav ve'ein chayikrin acheshum tam klal we're not trying to investigate why Hashem wanted to do this at all. Rak mekaimin oisam b'derech hukah levad sheze ikter amuna that's our main amuna and it's all about amuna. Why do we why do we follow the mitzvahs? Why do we do the mitzvahs? Because we have a muna. If you don't have a muna, you could just close the book and walk away. It, it, it's all about a muna. It's all about a muna. It's a big chunk of uh, what we're starting is like irrelevant. So why don't you learn just Shulchan Aruch and that's it? You know, like you know how to do mitzvahs. That's it. You don't need all this. Just do a muna. You know, we don't need the reasoning. But, 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 but if you see the beauty in the mitzvah, Sasha, so then you can do the mitzvah besimcha. If you just study the laws, and they're just laws, where's the simcha in that? There is. There is, and there are guys that can. And there are guys that can study just the law, and they're great with it. And they do their mitzvahs besimcha. That's it. There are people like that. There are guys like that. But, but, but most guys are not like that. They're just going to study Allah all day. They're just going to say, another, another law, another law, another law. Right? It, 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 it becomes monotonous. All right, can we, let's learn, let's learn uh, one halacha in, in, uh, in wow, what is it? Huh. Another law. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh come on. Uh, we're, we're starting a new, we're starting yesterday. Yeah. I am so excited to learn about this next law. Next yeah. I'm not going to be here tomorrow, but I expect you guys to move on a little bit in this book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dvarim shasurim and sheheir ayoyim ad la'achas she is follow. Different things that you're not allowed to do in the day until after you daven, right? You have to first. What what can't you do before you daven? So okay. Misha misha ola amad ashacha. When the uh, morning star comes out, I think that's how you translate it. Shu ar ha nates min hashemesh b'mizrach. That's the the ar of the nates, right? That's when we daven nates, right? We daven at that time that the that the sun comes up in the mizrach. Kivan shoz maschil zman tefila. Since he came, the time of tefila. Shem hispalal oz b'diavet yotza the lekam and reish simen yotches. If you daven before. Right, so then it's a uh, the evet, right? Some people have no choice. Let's say they're traveling or whatever the case is, and they have no choice. It's a the evet, but you try. You always want to daven after at least alos shacha. You don't want to daven before that because then it's a it's a problem, and you don't want to say shmon esrei before the nates. That's really the earliest time you could say shmon esrei. But there are times in the year, right? There are times in the year that people just can't do that. Because uh, they have their schedule or whatever the case may be, and they have to dive in earlier. So what do you do in that case? Okay. Right. So you're not allowed, again. You can't do work. You shouldn't do work and do other things that you, other tasks and chores that you have before you dive in. And there was in the da- what? The travel. Or, or traveling, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he, no, he says here, La'asik ba'asokov, oy le'lech, b'derech k'aydim shibal. Don't travel, don't do things before you daven. Shnei ma'at tzedek l'fonav y'alek v'yosem l'derech pa'amav. Tzedek zo tfila. Tzedek is tfila. Tzedek, righteousness is tfila. Shematzdek l'voyre, because it makes righteous to our Creator. That's what we keep learning about, right? Shemat steik levari. Ba'acha kach yosem ponav lidarkei chefsei, and then you can go and do whatever you have to do. But first, always daven. Try to daven with the nates. If you daven with the nates, that's the best thing to do because then you don't ever have a problem of doing things before you daven. So the guys that daven, they they have to do all their preparation. They have to do all of their things, all of their things before they daven. Hey, wait a second. Were you supposed to be doing all of those things before you daven? Were you supposed to be doing all of it? Were you allowed to do all those things before you were davening? 
right? They, they make lunch for the kids and they did this and that and all these different things. Hey, wait a second. How come you didn't daven first? Right? There's something that says you have to take care of your animals first. Or does that fit in somewhere? That's if you're eating, you have to feed them before you eat your food. You, you, that's exactly right. You oh. feed your animal before you eat. Okay. But you don't eat until you do this. You need to milk your dog so you just... <laughs> no, but if you have to walk your dog, you do that. that you do that. He, he has no choice. He has to. He needs that. Right? That's it's sar balechaim if you don't do that. Yeah, but I couldn't uh, pray before, at that time anyway because it's four in the morning. I understand. So there's no problem. No, that's not a problem. So you take care. of You do what you got to do. All right. So that's the first halacha. Baruch Hashem. So in other words, try to daven as early as you can. Don't daven before the nates. Try to dive as early as you can. Do whatever. This way you can do whatever you have to do after. And you're doing everything better. Everything is okay. There's no problems at all. All right. So everyone, have a wonderful day. And we should see here. Besar Tovas And Hashem should protect us. And uh, we'll continue tomorrow. Bezrat Hashem. Okay? Try to feel the simcha in the day. Good day.